Hey guys, Dominic here at Redleaf Exotics, and today I wanted to talk about the five most common mistakes people make when growing Nepenthes for the first time. So let's talk about the biggest mistake I see all the time, mistake number one, overwatering your plant. We're growing Nepenthes, we are not growing Drosera, Flytraps, or Pinguicula. These plants do not want to be sitting in water all the time. In the wild, they're growing as epiphytes on tree branches or lithophytes on rocks, and they have really good drainage. Nepenthes roots are very brittle and fine, like the hairs on my head, and they don't want to be sitting in water because if they do, they will rot. All the time we get messages and people will send photos. Their plants look like they're growing in a swamp. They have very thin spindly leaves, discolored, and they just look like they're on the verge of dying. And usually it's because they are in really oversized pots, loaded with just sphagnum, soaking wet, and the plant cannot breathe in the roots, and the penthes love aeration at the roots. They wanna be kept evenly moist, slightly dry in between watering, never sogging, soaking wet. So let's talk about mistake number two, and probably the one that makes me cringe the most. Ooh potting soil. Do not plant your Nepenthes in soil. They will hate you and then they will die and you will not feel good. Think of Nepenthes like orchids. They want to be grown in sphagnum, perlite, maybe coconut core, maybe orchid bark, uh, akadama, kanuma. They do not want to be in soil. So if you're growing your Nepenthes in soil and it doesn't look good, well, it's because you're growing it in soil. Sphagnum moss is all around good substrate for Nepenthes. It's fluffy, it holds moisture well, and if you mix some perlite in there, it will give you extra drainage. Getting it evenly moist to lightly dry in between waterings is perfect. Ditch the soil and get your Nepenthes into a potting medium that it will love. Let's move on to mistake number three, and that's feeding your Nepenthes human food. Guys, last time I checked, Nepenthes are not pulling up to the McDonald's drive-thru in the wild ordering Burger King. They're getting all natural nutrients from insects, animal poop, rainwater. So do not feed your Nepenthes human food. They are not made to digest it. I see a lot of people putting hamburger meat, just weird human food that is not even good for us in their Nepenthes. And it might not kill the plant, but you will probably notice fungal or bacteria growth inside the pitcher. Maybe the pitcher will rot and die, and you just don't want that. The whole point in growing Nepenthes is growing beautiful pitchers. So you might like Burger King or McDonald's, but don't feed it to your Nepenthes. Nepenthes don't even need a lot of food in the pitcher to do what they do and grow. Like a couple little insects, one cricket per pitcher. Um, some people actually like to put an Osmocote pellet in each pitcher but experiment at your own risk. I like to keep it natural and use insects. Moving along to mistake number four, and that's too little of light. It always gets me when someone sends me a picture of their Nepenthes, why is my plant not doing good? It is in a room with no windows, shoved in the corner with like an office lamp shining on it. Guys, Nepenthes want a lot of light. And I'm not really talking about full sun, but bright indirect light. Bright and glowing, you could see in here, it's a gray day, but it's still really nice and bright. If you're not giving your Nepenthes enough light, they're probably gonna decline and eventually die. Most people that are growing Nepenthes indoors today are using artificial lights. LEDs are awesome. As long as they're made for plants in their full spectrum, you should be good to go. So don't leave your Nepenthes in the dark, bring them out into the light and they'll be much happier. The fifth and final mistake that I see a lot and probably the most common is too low of humidity. Now think about where Nepenthes come from. Southeast Asia, tropical, hot, humid lowland jungles, foggy, misty, sometimes rainy highland jungles. Nepenthes are getting a lot of moisture and humidity in their environment, and that's what helps them grow and produce these beautiful pitchers. Hand misting, an indoor humidifier, a greenhouse with a fogging system, anything to give your Nepenthes more humidity. I see a lot of people growing indoors. They just have them hanging up. There's a cactus right below them. Why is my plant not producing pitchers? I missed it once a day. Missing your Nepenthes once a day just is not good enough. They need constant humidity levels. And we're talking about 60% and above. I mean, I have grown Nepenthes indoors under really good light. Um, around the 45% range and they still did pitcher, but the light source was good. I was watering them properly, feeding them properly. Everything else was on point, but the humidity was lower. That is an extreme case. 
mostly if your humidity is down in the 40% range, you're not gonna see pictures on your Nepenthes. So up the humidity, hand mist them a few times a day, maybe invest in a in-home humidifier that just blows a nice fog over the plant all day long, or get an indoor grow tent and greenhouse, and that will really keep the humidity around your plants. For smaller plants, a terrarium is also a really awesome way to start growing Nepenthes and keep the humidity around them that they need to pitcher. Just keep in mind they eventually vine and get pretty big, so you're eventually gonna need a really big terrarium to keep them happy and growing. So those are the five common mistakes I see all the time amongst Nepenthes growers. Just remember, do not keep your plants sitting in water for too long. They're not bog plants. They wanna be evenly moist in between watering to slightly dry. Ditch the garden soil or potting soil. Nepenthes hate it. They will not grow. They will die. Number three, do not overfeed them and do not feed them with human food. This is beyond bad for them. They cannot digest it and it will lead to ugly plants with no pitchers. Number four, bright and direct light and your Nepenthes will be so happy. Don't put them in the dark corner where they're just gonna dwindle and die. Nepenthes love a good strong light level. So get some LEDs in your grow collection and I'm sure the plants will be thriving with pitchers in no time. And last, low humidity. Up the humidity, invest in a humidifier. Your plants will be so thankful you did. High humidity is so important for pitcher production and getting these big, beautiful, colorful pitchers on your plants. I hope this video has helped you to better grow your Nepenthes plants. If you have any specific questions, put them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Dominic here at Redleaf Exotics. Happy growing, guys.